Hello everyone and welcome back to the Angular University. In this lesson we are going to be introducing the at if template syntax for conditional rendering in Angular templates. So first let's explain what is conditional rendering. Let's say that for example we have here a list of courses that are getting displayed here in a course card component. So every component that you see here on this list is an instance of course card. And these components are being rendered out based on the data on this file. Now, let's say that, for example, this initial course here did not have an image. So the icon URL property is not filled in. If we refresh the application, we are going to see that now the user interface is broken. And we can see here Angular logo. That's the alt text that we have here. So under these circumstances, if we don't have an icon URL available for the course, we should not try to display an image. Or alternatively, we should display a placeholder image that doesn't look here like a broken user interface. We can do this very easily by using the Angular syntax at if. It works in a very similar way to a plain if in JavaScript. So if you look at it, the syntax is almost identical. So here, what we want to do is we want to test a logical condition. And this doesn't have to be a Boolean. The truthiness of the expression is going to be evaluated just in like in JavaScript. So if it's an object, this is going to be considered true, etc. In this case, we are testing for the presence of this icon URL string. And if there is an icon URL, then and only then we are going to try to render out an image. So we move this inside this curly braces block. Let's go ahead and let's update our interface. And as we can see, now the user interface does not look broken anymore. Simply the image is not present. Now let's say that we would like to create here a placeholder. So something to replace this image if no image is available. We can do so in a very simple way using the at else syntax. And again, notice how this looks just like plain JavaScript. Let's go ahead and let's add here a placeholder. No image available, for example. And if we refresh here our interface, we are going to see that indeed our placeholder is getting displayed as expected. Now, you can see that this is extremely easy to understand for somebody that knows JavaScript, TypeScript. It just looks like plain JavaScript syntax. It almost doesn't look like a template syntax. So it's very easy, very intuitive. This at if syntax also supports the case if, else, if, else. So let me demonstrate that. Let's add here an at if condition and let's say that we want to detect the first course here, the course with ID 1. So if course.id equals 1, then we're going to go ahead and let's render out here something to the screen like course with ID 1 detected. All right. So we just want to render out here something for that particular course. And now we're going to add here else if there is an image available, then we render out the image else we have here the fallback case, then we display here the image placeholder. So here, let's go back here to our data. And let's leave here this icon commented out for the first case. Let's leave here RxJS in practice with its icon. And let's go ahead and let's comment out also the third course. We are going to be removing its image. If we now go back here to our template and we hit Command S, we are going to see that for the first course, which has ID 1, this course here, then this condition was true. And we can see that course with ID 1 detected was printed out as expected. Then for the second case, we do have an icon URL. So we display the image just like in the other cases here. And finally, for the third case here, which is this particular course here that doesn't have an icon URL and that it doesn't have the ID equal one, it has ID three. If you check here, we're going to see that this condition doesn't match because the course ID is free of this course here. This also doesn't match this condition here because there is no image for this course. So the only remaining uh, possibility is this clause here at else that now matches. So now we are displaying here the empty image placeholder. So as we can see, 
the syntax is extremely intuitive, it looks just like plain JavaScript.